Hey, it's Nano, and we're going to see what the flatten layer does in TensorFlow. So this is a layer that we're going to use through Keras, and we're just going to pass an image through it to see what it does to an image. Let's go to Colab to take a look. So we have here an empty Colab notebook, so we have to connect to a runtime. So Google Colab will allocate a kernel, a backend Python kernel for us, and we'll probably have Python 3 here, and we'll import TensorFlow as TF, and also see what TensorFlow version we're going to get. Next thing that we can do is we can also import matplotlib, and I think that we get this nice autocomplete here on Google Colab. Next thing we're going to do is our uh, image, and it's going to be an array of three by three numbers. And, and we'll do, you know, we could do something like this, zero, 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 zero. Now we have this image and how do we display the image? Right now, this is just an array. So this is, if I print it, this is just an array of numbers. It just has zeros there. The first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to make sure that I render something that if we see it as an image, it makes sense. So we have a lot of zeros and then one pixel in the middle. And we're going to run that over. So now we're going to convert our image with TensorFlow. So we do TensorFlow convert to Tensor, and we just pass our image. Right now, what is that image? We ask uh, TensorFlow. So it's actually a tensor. The shape is three by three, and it just contains integers. But the nice thing is that we can ask something like matplotlib to render this image as something that we can see. So actually render colors. We get this image that is three by three and has this purple background and yellow point in the middle. But if we change the C map, so the color map to gray, we'll see that everything's black except for that middle pixel. So we have an image that is three by three. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna print here. So let's say we have nine steps. So we go from uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine numbers. So I'll do nine steps and we're gonna say for I in range nine, I'm going to print the values. So I print these numbers. They just go from zero to eight. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to get 255 divided by the steps minus one multiplied by I. What do we get? We get float numbers that go from zero to 255 and we can parse them into an int. So now we have int values that represent the color from black to white doing a perfect gradient. What do we want those numbers for? We're going to populate our array, so our color, uh, with this information. And I'm not going to go into building dynamically that, uh, that array. I'm actually going to do something really dumb and just copy these numbers manually into my array. As we had before, formatted structured data that if you want to see it better, we can actually put it formatted in a better way. We're just going to run this cell again. We're going to run this one below again. We're going to run this one again. So we're going to regenerate that tensor in TensorFlow and we're going to regenerate the image. And this is exciting part. So now we can visualize what we've done with color in this case with black and white. And again, as I said before, we can use Inferno. We can use other color maps like the default one. If we want to render this with different heat maps or, or color maps. So we'll stick with the gray, the boring gray right now, and we'll continue. So we did this to calculate those numbers, which we don't really need right now, but we have there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to go from a three by three image into something that looks just like this. So nine numbers in a row. What we're going to do is build a model. So we'll build our model with the Keras uh, sequential model. And we'll just pass an array of layers that in this case is just going to be one layer. So that layer will be TF Keras layers flatten. And then we'll put the input shape as three by three and we'll get our model summary. So when we do this, TensorFlow builds for us a model that is going to get an input image or a batch of input images that are three by three, and it's going to flatten those images into a one dimensional array that just contains those integer numbers. What we can do right now is the first thing is seeing that our image has a shape of three by three. And if we run TensorFlow expand them's image, and then we put here that we want to expand the zero axis, we're actually going to get a batch of three by three images. That is exactly what we needed. 
So now we can get our output by calling model predict on that new image that we haven't actually defined. Uh, image batch. We're going to put that there. We're going to run it again. And now we're going to run this on image batch. And now we're going to see the shape of that output. The shape is one and nine. That's a one dimensional uh, list of numbers that we can print here and see. So it's just literally just flatten that into a list of flow 32s that we can see with matplotlib and there it is so we can use our cmap that is gray and we can compare both so we can now grab this and then put here on the top our input that is cmap gray we do this and we get the image just to to have them both on screen and, and let me actually change them in order so we can have a clear understanding so what's going on here is that we had, or we've built by hand, that image that you can see on the top. So the image on the top is a three by three image, and we've passed it through a TensorFlow model built with Keras that just have one flattened layer. And that flattened layer gets an image that is a batch of images that are three by three, like this one, and outputs one one dimensional or a batch of one dimensional lists of numbers that contains nine items. We can inspect the model to know that's true. So the model has, has this flattened layer that outputs this non or batch by nine numbers. In the input, we defined it as an input shape of three by three. This video was part of the machine learning series. I'll remind you to like the video if this is the type of content that you'd like to see and to subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to receive notifications when I go live or when I upload new videos. You can also join the community at nonodotmass discord. You, we're talking about many interesting things there and we're just starting with it. What I'll do is that I'm going to send this cold app notebook to you guys on the discord channel. So I'll put it on the live event links for today's episode. Okay. Cool. So the, the link to this uh, tutorial that I just recorded is on the Discord server and the live events channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.